Folks, in this video we're going to test out how well the Brita pitcher filter works. Alright, this has a brand new filter in it. And what I want to do is, first of all, I'm going to take some regular tap water. Let me uh, show you. This is tap water. Right, what I have here is a parts per million tester. This is going to test the water for me to tell you know ideally you want zero water you want your water to be zero okay zero nothing else and everything water zero means it's nothing but water so let's go ahead and stick this in there right out of the tap let's see what we get it looks like it's blinking at 130 we have 130 parts per million coming right out of the tap Let's try some distilled water from the big box store and see what we get out of that. Zero. Distilled water is zero. Okay, let's go ahead and run a pitcher full through the Brita pitcher filter. Go ahead and fill that up with the 130 parts per million out of the tap. Let's let it run through the filter one time. We'll go ahead and fill this all the way to the top. All right, we're going to let that run through the filter one time and we'll come back and test it and see how well the filter uh, filters out the particle or the particulate or whatever might be in there. I, I, don't, I can't tell you what's in the water because I don't work for the city. Uh, they probably wouldn't want to tell me that, and I'm not going to tell you what city I'm in. <laughs> That's my disclaimer. But let's let's wait for this to filter through, and we'll check it. Okay, that's been filtered one time. Let's go ahead and pull the filter insert out, set it to the side, and let's test what's inside of our pitcher. like we have a 66 so it brought it from 130 to 66 wow that's that's pretty good Britta this time folks we're gonna do four we're gonna go run through two filters at one time okay which is gonna make this a total of four filterings and then we're gonna check it we'll be right back to see what the reading is after a total of four filterings okay that's a total of four filterings Let's uh, get our meter and go ahead and test that. Can you see that down there? Let's test it. What do we got? 33. Okay, we're going to do it again. This is going to be a total of six filterings after it goes through this cycle. Let me remove that. Let me bring this other picture down in here. As you can see, I got two filters on there. So this will be a total of six cycles through the filter after this is complete. And we'll be back to test it and see what we get after six cycles. Okay, folks, this is a sixth cycle of uh, filtering that we've done so far. Let's go ahead and test it. We're zeroed out. I don't know if you can see it, but that's zeroed out. Put that in there. After six cycles, we've got a 32. 32. Okay, let's go again now. This is going to be eight cycles through the filter. Let's see what we get after eight cycles. While this is cycling, folks, I am boiling water on the stove that came out of the tap so we can test it to see what we get for boiled water okay this is eight cycles through the Brita filter Let's check it we're down to 26 now all right it's getting better every time let's do the tenth cycling 
on the Brita filter. We got our filters set up. As you see, I've got them stacked. <laughs> so this will be the tenth. If you're saying, whoa, how'd you get from eight to ten? Because I'm doing it twice at one time. If you just join the video. Why people would join a video halfway through or most of the way through, I don't know. But this is the tenth cycle. We'll be right back to test it. All right, folks, that's ten cycles through the filter. Let's go ahead and test that. After 10 filterings, we get a 23. That's, that's pretty good. We filtered it 10 times, Britta, to bring it from 130 down to 23. Okay, I'm going to stop this test there. I'm not going to filter all day long to try to get zero, because I think I'll be here all day. I am boiling some water. I'm going to boil it for two minutes. Now I'm going to let it cool off and we'll test boiling water and see what it reads. Be right back when it cools off. Okay folks, the water has cooled down. Let's give it a test. See what we get. 190. <laughs> We've got, it's, it's more now than what it was. It's 187. Okay, so there must be something in the metal pan that's causing it to have more particles or parts per million than just uh, straight, clean water. So boiling your water, folks, does not remove the parts per million. It might remove the chemicals or the bacteria or whatever, but now I've got, I don't know what in my water that is, there's more parts per million than what it was coming out of the faucet. 